Hey guys, I am Therese with KB Home. Brian, it was so great to talk to you this morning. Um, and I know I promised you a video of the home. So um, I decided I wanted to take you on kind of like a tour of Castle Rock in general so you can see some of the amenities, um, some of the dining, shopping, you know, views that you have going into the community um, and just kind of talk you through the community itself since you guys are out of state. So, um, following this video, I'm sorry, it's, it's kind of a long one. So hang tight with me. Um, feel free to skip around if you'd like, but, um, definitely be able to answer any questions you have about the home, the community, the city, Colorado in general, um, anything I can do. I know that buying a home remotely and virtually can be a little nerve wracking. Um, so anything that I can do to help you guys feel comfortable, um, please, please let me know. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, and we will talk to you really soon. Hope you're staying well and healthy and, um, enjoy the tour. Hey guys. So I wanted to show you, we're about to enter up into Castle Rock and just kind of what you would be driving into when you leave from Greenwood Village. Um, so it's a little cloudy here today, but otherwise you would be able to actually see Pikes Peak coming down this road, uh, which is really pretty on a clear day, especially when it's got the snow peaks on it. Um, and I think, like I said in my email, it takes me about 20 minutes from Greenwood Village to get down to um, the community panorama at the Meadows. So the cool thing about the Meadows, it is on the western side, and there's actually two ways to get into the Meadows because it's it's one big loop. So we'll enter in on the first exit um, to get to the home to show you, and then when I leave, I'll actually go out the other direction so that you can see what's on that side, and that's also the easier way to get to like the shopping, the dining, um, and downtown Castle Rock. So I just wanted you to be able to see kind of some of the landscape around, um, especially, you know, with a lot of the mountains um, surrounding the area. That actually in the distance is Sleeping Indian, which you can see from a lot of areas um, in the community. And actually from the home I'm gonna show you, you do have some mountain views from the second level. Um, but I'll show you that when we get there. So the first exit for the, the first loop of the meadows is coming up just around this bend. And you can see we're actually going down in elevation. So you'll be able to really see all of Castle Rock on the drive down. to get into the outlet mall. There's a Sam's Club in there. There's um, gas, Starbucks, Chick-fil-A. Um, and then we're gonna come into some more of the residential here. preserve a lot of that outdoor opportunity for views and recreation. Um, within Panorama at the Meadows, um, they do preserve a lot of open space as well, which is protected. So we know that that will never be built upon. Um, and that's how we get all of the, the good walking trails that are protected. So coming up here, you will see the high school. Um, I believe you said that you weren't bringing any kids with you, but um, nice to know what's in the area, at least for like a resale 
um, opportunity if you're thinking about that. So schools in the area do fall into Douglas County um, for their schools, which is rated really high in Colorado. You have Castleview High School, Castle Rock Middle School, and Soaring Hawk Elementary. So both the high school and the middle school are about two miles away from the home. actually a brand new roundabout that was just put in eventually from this um, point here they will have some more um, commercial going in here by the school to the home is about three miles total so it'll only take you about a couple minutes um, to get out there I, if you're going north I definitely recommend you know taking that exit that we got off on if you're going south you'll want to take the Founders Parkway um, just depending on which direction you're going so now we're getting into more of the residential the single-family homes here there are kind of two sections within the meadows. One is called Butterfield. They do have their own pool, which is what we're seeing here. This is Butterfield. Um, you can get access into that pool. It's a, just an additional annual fee. Um, most people living within the meadows don't really access that unless they're living in Butterfield. Um, so where you would be living, you would have access to the two other pools within the meadows. So one is called the Grange and one is called the Taft House. Um, the Grange is really, you know, it, it's for adults, families, um, kind of all ages. The Taft House is more designated for small children. So there's like the splash pad, um, not as deep of a pool, you know, you're not going to have the lap pool, things like that. So you have options at, at both sides. Most people utilize the Grange. It is the larger of the two. So here's some of that um, protected open space here. We're going to come up on a park that's right near the neighborhood. Some more open space here. You've got the park on the right, Butterfield Crossing Park, and then the open space here, which is actually the back of the community. So you would have access to that trail right there. So we are about to enter the community. Meadows, which would be your neighborhood name. And I'm going to take you up to the house. Great thing about this community too is it kind of slopes upward. So we are heading more towards the back, which is going to be at a higher point of the community, which is the reason it allows for some of those mountain views. Also really great if you're thinking about water drainage. So here is actually one access point into those walking trails. We are coming up on the house here. There's actually one that's closer. We've got your mailboxes right on the right hand side here, which is just up the street. This would actually be your best access point into the open space here. And we're actually turning to where the home is right down the street. So only about one home um, is between you and that walking trail. So I'm gonna get out here. This is the home, 4049 uh, Fortune Lane. We may encounter some people working on the home inside, but no worries, we will work around that. Okay, so this is the full view of the home, two story. It's a two-car garage, eight-foot garage door. Of course, this will be landscaped. It'll have grass, it'll have a tree, some rock, some good stone aspects 
Okay, so walking inside here, you have the den immediately off the front entry with a powder room here, which will have a mirror. This is a coat closet right up the entry. And then as you walk in, this is what we call the flex space. Um, you know, whether you use that for formal dining or maybe more office space. And then into your great room here with the LED lighting. And then the pendant would be where you could have the informal dining space, eat-in area. You do also have the counter here, which does overhang for bar stools. So in those photos I sent you, this is actually the quartz going throughout the entire kitchen. It's like a grayish. And then the silk cabinetry is more of a white with hardware. All stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. Your sink there, double basin. And then you've got a pot and pan drawer on this side with some extra storage there. Let's see, Lazy Susan is here. So all appliances will be included except for refrigerator, washer, and dryer. And then off of the kitchen, you do have a mudroom going into the garage, so nice size mudroom. And then you've got your huge pantry uh, in the mudroom right off the kitchen. So really big double door pantry off of your kitchen, which leads you into your garage. Two car garage, only two steps going in with an extended garage. So that means that we added four foot in length so it's a 20 by 24 opener is included. In the backyard space, and like I mentioned, it would be landscaped as well and it'll look similar to what's behind you here. Definitely a good size yard for your German Shepherd. And then the fencing we talked about is that privacy fence, the five foot with the one foot lattice. So nice and private. You don't have to worry about your dog jumping over that. So then we'll go upstairs. You do have the open rail with the, the brown stain. You immediately walk up into the loft area. And from here, you can definitely see those mountains. So great thing about this location is everything is built out around you. So you know that nothing's getting built up over that. And the same thing, hi, same thing from the master. It's about a 15 by 15 room for your master, which is also great because it backs to the west. So again, you're seeing those really pretty mountains. And then you do have a walk-in closet with the bars going all the way around. In your master bath, you've got the tile here on the floor, water closet. And again, it's quartz on the countertop, but more white with the slate cabinetry. And then your standing shower with a bench here. There will be a glass enclosure with a door here. But you've got a white tile with a border. and linen closet here. And again, you're really seeing those mountains. So 
So then we're back in the loft. You've got three additional bedrooms. Excuse me, sorry. We'll start back on this end. You've got large laundry room. Tile floor here, nice drain on the floor. And this is set for an electric dryer versus the gas, but you do have some cabinetry up here or sh uh, shelving. This is another linen closet here off the laundry room. And then your three secondary bedrooms are on the opposite side, the front side of the home, which is nice keeping the master private from secondary bedrooms, guest bedrooms, that sort of thing. And your view from the front, you can see some plateaus. And then again, that walking trail is right there. This is the third bedroom. Of course, all with the closets. And then your secondary bath. Same tile on the floor here. Only difference is instead of the quartz, you do have the Corian. It's gonna look the same as your quartz, but feels a little different in your secondary with a tub shower combo and white tiling. Of course, there would be a mirror here as well. So to give you the full scope of the upstairs, standing in the corner of the loft, you have your master bedroom here and then your laundry room is to the left there, and then your three bedrooms are on the front of the home. So now I'll show you guys the basement, because I know that was an important aspect for you as well. Oh, and I didn't talk about the flooring. So this is actually a luxury vinyl plank. It's gonna look like wood. They are individual planks, um, but they're really great for long-term maintenance, um, longevity, especially with the dog walking on here, it's not going to dent or wear as easily as real wood. Um, and you know, if you do happen to scratch it, you just have to lift up the individual plank. And then the upgraded carpet here, it's kind of more of like a Berber style. Um, so again, with the dog, it's not gonna be tearing up as easily as like a shag style. So here's your front door. And you do have your basement access here. It is the unfinished basement. Okay. So you've got definitely good storage. It's eight foot ceiling. All of your water access and your sump pump. So every sump pump or every home has a sump pump. Um, this here would be um, the plum for a what we call a passive vapor mitigation system. So if you decide to test for radon and want to act in an active uh, radon mitigation, you would plumb out from this here. So all of the pre plumb is already in place for you, um, but that is up to your discretion. So unfinished area. All of these windows are egress. So if you're thinking you wanted to finish it down the line and put a bedroom down here, you could safely do that. We've got all the mechanical here. Like we talked about, um, all Energy Star certified, which you're familiar with KB. That furnace does have a 95% efficiency. And then your water heater here. And then you do have a crawl space as well, whether you're utilizing this for storage or otherwise, here. So total, you've got about 1,300 square foot down here, including the crawl space. Unfinished area, you're looking at about eight or 900 square foot of unfinished basement. All right, so leaving the house here, um, I'm gonna show you guys what the community looks like from the other direction of the meadow. So you can see the full loop. 
and just more of the community itself. So we're back on Meadows Boulevard. This is where we turned in um, from that main road, but we are going to go the other direction now. Just down the street, you do have the large dog park right here. You can kind of see down that hill. area right next to we're coming up on the Grange that first larger pool area is right here so you can see there's a water slide really big pool area community center um, they do host a lot of like holiday events there um, different classes they can do so that's you know a quick maybe five, 10 minute walk down to that. If you were to go down this road here, you actually would go to that adventure park I was mentioning that has like the zip lining and obstacle courses, pretty fun.
you can see there is some road construction that should be all taken care of here in the next couple of weeks. Not something you need to worry about. Gas station right before you hit the highway. And we're actually gonna cross over the highway because I wanna show you guys the main street of Castle Rock downtown. So here on the left is actually the south side entrance for the outlet mall. So again, good dining, of course, good shopping with the outlets. to cross over I-25, the major highway. And this is just gonna lead you into even more dining. The Target is up here. Um, so a lot of restaurants, some shopping, mostly food is going to be up here. Um, there is an urgent care as well up here. It's Walgreens. A lot of ways you can access the downtown area. Um, you can jump right on the highway and take the next exit um, or you can take these back streets. As far as grocery shopping, I forgot to mention we did pass by a King Supers is right down the street, um, as well as that Whole Foods option on when we first drove in. straight ahead um maybe hard to see in the video but that is the castle rock so and especially at like christmas time they light a star on that um and like i mentioned in my email they light up the entire downtown area which is really pretty to walk through they host a lot of events down there like Oktoberfest, of course holiday related things fourth of july they do shoot fireworks right off the rock better here. Just a little cloudy. And that's one too, if you guys like hiking, of course you can hike up there or drive or partially drive and hike. You definitely have a lot of, you know, the 14ers that are going to be in Colorado. That's one of them. Um, you know, you might have to drive a few hours to get to some others, but there are some close by.
view of the rock. And you can actually hike up there as well. It's more of an easier, short little hike up there. And all of those walking trails do give you access. I mean, here you can see there's more walking trails. Really, you can get miles and miles and miles throughout uh, Castle Rock and up the highway too from the community. actually be exiting right here. It's called Wolfensburger is the exit you want to take and it'll take you right into downtown. We kind of took the long way so that you guys could see more of Castle Rock but either way we'll get you down here. This is downtown. We're about to be on Main Street. Really cute antique shops down here, coffee shops, um, you know, really great local restaurants. You aren't gonna find many of the chains down here. Um, there is a brewery right here on the corner. And now we are on Main Street. So hopefully you can tell it is kind of that small town Main Street feel. This is where they start lighting things up at the holidays. Lots of cute little stores on both sides. B&B Cafe. This is actually the city building here. Theater Park coming up here on the left hand side. So cute little park area here. And then this just leads back to um, another grocery store, some more dining. Um, and another access onto the highway. So, I mean, a lot of accessibility in Castle Rock. Um, really hard to get lost. You can pretty much get in and out anywhere. You've got some larger shops here, more of like the typical fast food type areas. And that is Castle Rock. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Um, I definitely look forward to chatting with you more. Um, and it sounds like we'll be having a call either tonight or tomorrow. Um, and we can do that FaceTime, just a call, whatever you guys want. I know it's a little harder to find a home virtually, but I wanted to do everything I can to make you guys feel comfortable with the area and um, feel comfortable with the home so we can get y'all set up for the big move. So um, my name is Therese, my phone number 303-881 two nine five four um go ahead and give me a shout when you have a minute um sorry about the length of this video but um hopefully it had some really good information for you there so have a great day you guys um hope you're staying safe and well and we will talk to you soon bye